Hello and welcome to Mr. Belgrave's Comic Book Enrichment Club. I'm here to show you how to draw comic books. I'm a big fan of comic books and I love drawing them. Um, so basically, let's get started. We need some really basic equipment. Most of you should have this at home. If not, it's quite cheap to buy. First of all, you need a pencil. Just a nice, normal, sensible pencil. Not a great big silly one like this, okay? I like this pencil because it's got a tiger on the side. So every now and then when I'm getting bored, I can go, oh, the tiger's coming to get me. So that's why I like this pencil in particular. But you don't have to have a pattern on your pencil. A nice, sensible pencil. Obviously, you need a pencil sharpener, okay? Now, pencil sharpeners are great. Obviously, I don't like them in my class because you kids use, use them all the time and there's pencil shavings all over the floor. But at your own home, make as much mess as you want to. You also need a rubber. Now, I know this rubber is quite big and silly, but you know, I don't care. It is my house. I can do what I want. And you also need a thin black felt tip pen. I use this one. It's like a handwriting pen. You can use one from your colouring box. Don't use one of those big ones. Ones, the big ones you use to color, actually color in. Just use one of the thinner ones. Black is always best, okay? And obviously you need some plain white paper. You can use photocopy paper, but I prefer to have one in a book and use more kind of cartridge paper. It's better for drawing. But if you have photocopy paper at home, that is fine as well. Now, when you draw comic books, one of the things I always think is you need to make sure you get, get used to the technique, basically. So um, what I would like to show you is that it's, we do some sketching, basically. So it's light, gentle strokes on the page, okay? So I'm going to draw a picture of a dog, okay? Now, this is a picture of a dog I've been drawing for years. I call him Sam, Sam the dog, okay? And I just, as you look, can you see what I'm doing here? Just very, very light sketches, okay? I'm not drawing a solid line at all. It's just lots of tiny, tiny, tiny little strokes. And I'm drawing very, very lightly, okay? Remember, lightly. Don't do that thing some of you do. You press down really, really hard. Because we need to rub this out, okay? This is our sketch, we need to rub it out. What I don't need to see is big indents on the back of your book, okay? So just light, gentle sketches like this, okay? And what happens is, once you go over, this with a pen, the idea is that you need to rub it out afterwards, okay? So as you can see, I'm doing this quite quickly because I've done this character quite a lot over the years. And what you'll need to do is really take your time, okay? I'm not saying you have to draw a dog. You can draw whatever you want to. You can draw, um, you know, unicorns, uh, hamburgers, chicken nuggets, chocolate cake. You can do chocolate cake, Haribo, and chicken, chicken buckets are one of my favorites to draw as well. So. Now I've done the sketch of uh, my dog, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen now, okay? Put the lid on the back. Make sure you take the lid off, because what happens is, you start drawing, nothing happens, okay? I've done it before, I've come in and said to my wife, look, look at this lovely drawing, and she says, you're an idiot, there's nothing there, and I realise I've left the lid on my pen. So make sure you take the lid off, otherwise nothing happens, okay? It's just a waste of your life, okay? So as you can see, what I'm doing here is, I am just going round, the pencil now with my pen. Now, as I said, I've done this a lot, so I know what I'm doing, especially with this character, but I would suggest you really take your time when you do what we call the inking, okay? So the first bit is what we call penciling, and this bit is now the inking, okay? So just take your time. Now, as you'll notice, I'm not coloring actually anything in solid black, okay? Anything you want solid black, do afterwards, okay? All we want to do is have our outlines, okay? That's all you need to do. Okay, now as I said, I'm going quite fast, as I keep telling you, you do not need to go this fast. I would really take your time and draw lots and lots of different things. It can be anything you want to, okay? Try and think about sort of cartoon type things, like dustbins and fences and stuff like that, you know? Like, look, look at cartoons, read comics, people, and read some comics, okay? And get inspired. You can even copy some of the pages, some of the characters, okay? And you take your rubber. Now, don't press too hard because what I also think is don't do it straight away because the ink is still slightly drying. You might want to blow the, uh, the page as well. And then you get your rubber and very gently start rubbing your character out, okay? But very gently. Don't do it too hard because if you press really hard with the rubber, what happens is the ink will start to come off, okay? So just nice and gently rub out the pencil. Now, as I said, because if you've done it very, very lightly, what you'll find is the pencil will come off. And then you just blow. Make sure you brush with your hand as well, because there'll be bits of, bits of um, 
rubber all over the book, okay? And as you can see, I've drawn a picture of my dog here, okay? And it really is as simple as that. That is basically the very first lesson. This is part one. I'm gonna keep uploading other videos. I wanna show you things about maybe um, writing your scripts, how to create other characters, okay? But um, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you for part two for Mr. Belgrave's comic book enrichment club. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.